Greetings, hello, and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Imperial Jedi, and this is our first look at the City Skylines expansion, Green Cities. And you know, I thought, what better way to find out what's really new than just to start a good old-fashioned vanilla playthrough series here. So we're on one of the new maps you get with the expansion itself. It's called the Eden Valley, so if you want to play along at home, super easy to follow along with us. And if my game does look a little bit different than yours, obviously I got the new DLC, but I do have, like, every other DLC as well. Maybe some even the obscure ones you didn't even know existed. But otherwise, no mods, no assets, so yeah, easy to follow along. And uh, yeah, the general game plan really just to kind of build a big old city here and test out and see uh, what's new. So we'll just jump right in with it. And you know, for this city, I really just want to stay true to the name of the expansion. So we're going to be going for something that's big, green, very like renewable energy kind of feel. Like a big emphasis on public transit. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. And this uh, starting strategy should look pretty familiar, but... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Time tested and true. But I'm going to be making it a little bit wider than the way I normally start this. And, you know, I thought for like kind of these open areas in between where the highway and where our roads end up, is we can eventually have like train corridors, like, you know, bike paths, walking paths, like just even parks lining the, uh, the highway. I would love to have, like the overall goal really would be to have like, it, it make the field be like uh, a city within a forest. I think we can totally achieve that, especially with this, uh, you know, the green city stuff, right? All right, well, let's just get uh, get started. So we can build with our just starting resources here. Now, I have noticed that if you are going to be taking the eco green kind of approach, uh, right when you start unlocking the building, if you start placing them down, it's going to be pretty pretty challenging to balance the budget right away. So just be prepared for a little bit more, just like you know, quick thinking and last minute decisions on on what to place and prioritizing stuff. So. There's a little bit more of a challenge. Now, I'm probably going to end up placing this stuff just to, you know, A, give me the challenge, and B, so we can see the new things, but I think that if I were not recording, I'd probably be introducing some of the greener stuff at a bit of a later just timeline in general. But you guys be the judge of that, of course. And I'll show you some, some ideas on how to um, cut back a little bit on uh, expenses and everything, too, so... There, I'm just trying to get away from doing, like, a perfect grid here. But, uh, well... General ideas, we'll have some industry over here, uh, some residential over here. I'm thinking we could maybe have a planned little green community just in this little area here. Maybe have a roundabout in the center and take advantage of the hills. Put a whole bunch of those new trees down. And, you know, as far as the city goes, I just want to have, like I was saying, a lot of like just transit friendly planning. So maybe we can have these little frontage roads or whatever you want to call them, just access roads that'll bring you maybe to like a roundabout and that'll take you into say like a planned uh, neighborhood instead of just zoning right along these. Now I might zone on them now just to kind of take advantage of the extra space but I just mean in the long run. So what little cars do end up driving on the road I really want to see just like good just traffic movement out of them. And then you know maybe for like the city of the future kind of vibe we can try for like a really nifty elevated highway that like, probably goes like the whole length down the river. And yeah, you know what we can do with the city really is just build on both sides of the bank, maybe have like a big tall city center down at the uh, the end over here by the river mouth opening. And just over on the left hand side, just where this uh, harbor area kind of pops in, we can have our cargo ports, maybe like a big train yard down there, some industrial stuff, maybe take advantage of some of this for some forestry. And you know, I, actually I am ambitiously named our city uh, Glendon Falls. I was hoping even though we're in vanilla, to maybe try and get a, uh, a waterfall through one of these areas. So, we'll see. I have some tricks for that too, but way later on. Anyways, I don't want to spend too much of our money here on the roads. Let's just get a little bit more going, but... but yeah, what I was thinking, right, these roads here, they just bring you to a roundabout, which would then bring you into one of these planned neighborhoods. If we kind of draw the roads like this, we're going to be able to zone off these, get some cool variants in the houses and just not really clog this up with people trying to get in and out of their driveways. All right, well, let's just, let's just see what we can turn up here. And again, I'm trying to get away from doing perfect grids. Maybe I should extend that, but I kind of like that. And we're also going to use some stop signs and stuff to just maybe limit how much traffic goes through here. Have that like local, local traffic only kind of vibe. Which I kind of like that, it's kind of cool. And then we'll keep this as a bit of a faster way back onto the highway. All right. Let's just start dropping in some of our utilities, and I think we're good. Neat layout so far. 
Alright, well, if we play our cards just right, we can use the power here to power both the intake and the outflow. Of course, the key is to get those on the right side, otherwise that's a quick trip to nowhere. So you can kind of see here we're using the same power bubble, right? Got to save some money where we can. And let's bring power in in kind of like a smart, smart way here. Not spending too much. Let's go like that. And then we'll cut across here. And that should get enough power to just enough parts of the city that when the zones start popping in, they should still all, all connect. And just in case we're broke, you know, we can always cut back a bit on the zoning squares and bada bing bada boom, everyone will be connected. Alright, so let's be smart with our water. Try and get the overlap and everything just right in the beginning here. I find that like my water, as the city kind of expands, my water coverage gets a little, a little bonkers. But of course, you know, if we're going for that green kind of vibe here, we don't want to be wasteful. So we want to have just efficient overlap, have a smart, smart budget when it comes to that. There we go, path of least resistance. And I, I've been told a million times, I totally forget off the top of my head, but there's like a certain unit number you got to go down. But because we're not using any mods or anything, it's a little tricky to get that. But we'll just kind of eyeball it, do our best. But yeah, I think that's what we're after here. And we actually have a little bit more money left over for some uh, extra roads here, so that's a bonus. Beautiful. All right, great. So as the initial zoning kind of comes in, I'm going to go through and just drop down some stop signs, change some of the intersections around. That kind of stuff. I mean, it's totally up to you if you want to do it or not. But I'll kind of explain why I'm doing it, just in case you're curious. All right, so what I was saying just kind of with this is I want to just grab from here in zone in. So we're going to avoid that last square here. And bonus points if you're looking for some variety in the buildings themselves. You can make them really any shape you want that's like a 4x4 four four or less variant. So we can have 4x3, 4x2, 3x1, 3x2. So however you end up zoning these will add a lot of variety to the building. So if you're looking just for that next level kind of fun, I think that's a little bit time consuming personally, especially since we're recording, so I might not do it too often, but just if you're looking for something kind of cool to do. And then still no problem if you wanted to zone, you know, that whole thing, right? And because we've done the way back into the city here, I'm actually going to zone off that side as well. And then whenever possible, I want to have these little shopping districts just kind of here and there. And my thought on that is if shopping's close by, you probably won't have to take your car to drive for it. So we'll try and cut back on car trips by, uh, by doing that. Okay, so just a nice residential pocket in here. Zone on that side too. And I'm going to actually scale this back just slightly because I would like the residents to first start zoning where the power lines are. So just in case they start to uh, to miss that. And just boom right there, perfect. Alright, so just quick industry over here. Same principle idea, let's just zone near the power lines first. And we'll throw some commercial over here too. But that should be okay to get us started. And then a lot of room for growth too. Alright, so let's double check because we do have a few credits and we can always, if we need to, like, you know, back up some of these roads that aren't being used, cut off a neighborhood if we need some extra money. So we're just making sure that we got power going pretty much everywhere, which is good. We got pipes pretty much everywhere as well, also good. Making sure these are connected, of course. Yeah, I think we're okay. Awesome. And then to remember, the power, it just needs to be close to something that produces power. Power lines just get you from, like, one distance to another, but when the buildings start popping in, they'll, um, you know, they'll, they'll make friends with another one and pass on the power like that. You don't need power lines. We'll kind of see. Okay, three speed. And let's get some fun cinematic views of our city here. Enjoy the music. And we probably won't see any new buildings, really, until we start doing some specialization and stuff. So this should just be the vanilla kind of feel. But you can see, just over here, this is where the difference in the houses are going to come in. So we got some small ones, some bigger ones, some of these cool long ones. So if you're looking for like a certain particular type, find the one you like and then keep zoning like that. So these 3x2s I think are really probably my favorites. Is that a 3x3? 3x3, okay, so I'm fairly, I don't even know my own favorite thing here. And then in the beginning you probably will be a little bit into the negatives, which is no problem. If you run into the negatives for long enough, you'll actually be offered a bailout, which is pretty cool. 
If you get to the um, first milestone, though, you get a really big cash injection relative to our, our budget now. So just aim for 440 people. It doesn't really matter if you're in the negatives or not, because that cash injection will get you enough to kind of expand a little bit more. And then we'll have a bit more budget control and stuff like that then. And then another method you can always do to make some extra money is you can slide down the overall budget for, say, your electricity, your utilities. I don't really like doing that because I end up just kind of putting it right back up really quickly, so it feels like a yo-yo. But if you want just, you know, a few extra bucks or whatever, feel free to tinker. And then what we're checking for here, you kind of see how the power is what I was talking about, just making sure everyone's connected. But we would see some icons if we had done something wrong. But we wouldn't have the money to fix it, so that's why we got to make sure that we're connecting everything now. Alright, so far so good. Let's just hang out here until we hit our milestone. And I'm really excited for actually the new trees that we're going to get. So I'm going to have just like a whole fun hillside here of them. And I know that some of you will be watching from console, so I'm not going to be doing too much terraforming. So I know you guys don't have that. I want to say just yet, maybe cautiously optimistically. But uh, a recent um, recent announcement from Paradox said that they're going to be making, in the future, lots of um, DLC packs for the consoles. And the first one coming out is going to be the Snowfall. So you get trams and a few other cool things. All right, so we must be close now. Oh yeah, we're in positives. Oh, okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, so at this point, now that power and everything is, is doing pretty well, we can expand, get some more people in here, ensure that we hit that milestone a little, a little bit quicker here, a little bit more quickly. Oh, and I actually, I meant to mention this in a previous playlist, but I've had some people ask me, um, you know, what music and stuff I'm using. I don't know if you guys are, oh, I just went right through the uh, milestone. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but there's an in-game radio station. And there's a DLC pack where you can buy some more. But you can just change to, you know, the regular soundtrack. Just some fun stuff. I personally prefer the classics. But kind of cool, right? Most people don't know about it. And if you want, you can just mute it really quickly, too. Have your music in the background. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got with our first uh, milestone. We actually do get some of the new green buildings. So the first of the green buildings we get are Recycling Center and Community School. Now, the Recycling Center, you don't necessarily need to use it right away. Uh, landfill is totally fine. Cool thing about the Recycling Center, though, is it starts to produce uh, raw materials from recycling the waste. So it'll help your industrial zones, you know, whenever they have that little icon showing that they don't have enough uh, goods. So that, that's cool. It, brings, it cuts down on traffic, so you don't have to bring um, all those goods in by truck anymore. And then a community school, it's just an alternative to an elementary school. I think you might maybe get better land value out of it, and it certainly looks cooler, but it's a little bit more expensive. And it actually educates fewer citizens, so just, you know, spend appropriately. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, up our taxes here. I find that 12 is a good number. And let's take out a loan here, too. Alright, perfect. Now, the first thing we need to buy are these services, then we'll do some expansion. Because if we don't put the services down, people will start to move out, unfortunately. <clears throat> okay, so let me, I think, drop this right here. It's kind of the top of that intersection. Looks kind of cool. And then even though it costs more money, remember I told you at the beginning, uh, I think I'm going to place these just so we can see them, but be prepared for the budget to take a roller coaster swing here. All right, so a nice green roof, right, for this? I like this a lot. So if you're like a faculty member, maybe come up here for your lunch, your solar panels for the green fields. I think what we'll do is maybe have like a path go around here, try and drop like a park or something. Kind of cool, right? Very nice building so far. I really like the look of the green buildings are very, very sharp. I think all in all, it's like maybe three or four hundred new assets, so it's a whole bunch of new stuff to uh, to see. All right, let's um, let's drop something else here. So we got help done. Let's expand slightly just for our trash. Now, we don't need both, um, but let's just put them both down so we can see. Now, the landfill, just in general, when I place that, it's stuck where it is until I empty this into an incinerator. But just so you guys can kind of see, take a look at this. So the garbage trucks, that's what they look like, right? What's really, really nice is with the recycling trucks, they actually created a whole new asset. They didn't just reskin this a different color. So. Of course, here I'm trying to show them off, and none are coming out. Oh, wait, there's one. Get back here, you. 
So take a look, a very different nose, different back, different colors. So good on them, I like them. So yeah, the recycling trucks will go out, bring waste back, that'll start converting it over, and then the industry will start using that, so that's kind of fun. You can see the difference again, right? I like it, good job. All right, three speed. Uh, again, we're gonna be in the negatives for a little bit here. I'm not gonna place this school down just until a little bit later on, but we'll uh, add it to one of our newer neighborhoods. Okay, so out of room to expand over here, but I do wanna do some expansion here. And I can't zone in here because I've got no way in except for from the highway. If that makes any sense. So the only way you'd have to you know, get in there is to leave the city and then head off to the region and then somehow come back. So it doesn't make any sense, right? So it's easier for us just to not zone there until we kind of create a more intricate interchange or just have some more some more options. But all of that, it's very expensive in the beginning. So you want something just kind of just to get you going. All right, so now we've got some money for some roads. We are going to run into problems with power pretty soon, but I think we'll be okay to do a slight expansion here. And this is going to be... Oh, you know what I said, which I totally didn't do yet, and I... Oh, goodness gracious me. I haven't done my junction controls yet. I was wondering what... I had some alarm bell in the back of my mind going. I'm like, there's something you forgot. So let me go over that, and I said I was going to explain it as well just a little bit. So yeah, over in North America, what we do, just to kind of ensure that people stay on, like, these kind of roads here, is we'll throw down a whole bunch of stop signs, especially at the, you know, the, uh, the four ways here. And I know it makes a little bit, like, you know, no sense, but the goal really is, it just adds so much extra time to your trip that you're just more likely to stay on this, even there's a lot of traffic. It just, is, it ends up being a faster route anyway. And then here, it cuts down on people speeding, because you gotta stop. So, you know, for residential zones, pets, family, kids, you wanna be going slow, right? But these roads here, minimal zoning, not too much action happening, kind of maybe protected by trees and guide rails and stuff. You can go a little bit faster here, right? That's why we are giving priority to these guys. But if you want, though, like on the ones that are close to the roundabouts, maybe we'll see this happen sometimes, right? Priority for the inbound traffic. Anyway, that's just my two cents on it. Totally up to you if you guys want to do it. We do need some power. Um, 6,000 will buy us another wind turbine. Let's get one of those first, and then when we hit the next milestone, we can buy a bigger power plant. Actually, no, we're just about to do that now. Why don't we just buy the next, um, look at that, six people away. Let's save the 6,000. Let's buy a coal power plant. Beautiful. And with this uh, milestone, we can actually start to specialize our uh, commercial and residential zones, and we can see some of these new green buildings. So some other services, we'll put those down too. Uh, just pause it for a second while we collect our breath here. And I'd also like to take out the second loan, because all of what we're, we're about to do is going to be very expensive. All right. Power. Check. Gives us the ability to grow. Great. Um, zoning for growth. Commercial demand. Check. At this point, I might start getting rid of some of the power lines just to kind of open the squares back up for zoning. That's okay right there. And I'm even though we can afford it, I'm not going to put the school down just yet. We'll grow a little bit further. But I will put down one police station and I think two fire stations. And very early on, like, one police station is more than enough. Like, even right now, we don't even we have 0% crime. Like, nobody's nobody's committing crime. We're okay. But fires, people are, people are going to start some fires. So let's put that, you know, just near the middle of town, so it's got pretty decent coverage. And we'll put a second one over here in the industrial zone, because they're much more likely to start a fire. Okay. Um, have we done anything? No, okay, cool. All right, uh, I'm gonna put it on three speed, accumulate a little bit more money here. Hopefully our budget stays in the positive. But let's do a bit of expanding first, just so we can kind of just ensure that we won't really go too far into the negatives. Oh, there it is. But let's try our hand at zoning a new neighborhood with some specialized dis uh, districts in them. And we're going to have to do another roundabout up here uh, just to kind of tie this in. You know what, since we're... Actually, I don't know. It's kind of... We're headed towards a positive budget, so I think I'm going to keep it running. I almost paused it for a split second there. Nah, that looks too silly. 
as helpful as the roundabouts are, just because of that really crazy slope issue, why don't we just do this instead? And even that just might not be the best approach. I might instead just use that back uh, slope there, because it's not as steep. But then just to ensure that traffic doesn't get, like, you know, out of control, we can have a back way in with something like this. And just some angles, just so we're not doing a perfect grid. And man, we're just not getting lucky with these uh, slopes today, are we? Yeah, it's still kind of steep, but... Sorry, guys. Appreciate the patience. There we go. Just trying for a little bit of that extra realism factor. Just trying to make it seem like there's no roller coaster effect to our to our road network here. Okay. Um, now, if if the districts are like anything else, when you uh, create them, well, I already know they are. You're not where like that. So the districts, when you create one, it's going to unzone all the um, people that currently live there. That's why we're planning a new one. So we're going to add an, up here. Perfect. And then we're going to specialize this, and then we'll see the new um, buildings come in, which will be pretty neat. And I think I'm going to make Maybe one of these into a tunnel. Yeah, it's a little bit too too steep right here. Cannot win. All right, come on. Now the new buildings they're going to be uh, generating less tax revenue, so you're going to want to plan for that in terms of the budget. We've got a lot of demand for people. Let me just zone this area here that we just plopped down. That was my intention. Sorry, I seem to be having a hard time multitasking today. And let's unzone that. And let's start doing that trick again over here where we're just zoning on the inside. So more or less the same use of the space here, but we're just efficiently getting traffic to be on the inside if it's local traffic only type thing. And then here would just be people driving on through. Alright, so our budget has just gone back into the positives. Let's continue to zone, even though they're requesting for some water, just to get some more people right in here. Because, you know, it's, like I was saying, it's, like, it's a bit of a, uh, it's a, it's a bit more expensive to put these green stuff in, or the green things in, in the beginning. But we're, we're trying to show some stuff off here, and we're up for the challenge. But just expect your budget really to be a bit of a yo-yo. Alright, so that's good. Okay. Oops, almost. Alright, there we go. Now, now that we've got these people moving in and finding jobs and stuff, we'll see our, our budget go right back up to where it was before. So, again, I'm not really worried. It's just these little lulls, you know? I'm trying not to, trying not to let them take too long. Yeah, I think the same principal idea. I'm going to turn this last little stretch here into a tunnel, just because it should look a little bit sharper with, our, just with the hillside. Uh, because of the cost, we'll do that after. Alright, so let's start our district here. Let's snap to these lower roads. And we'll go across and just kind of encompass that. And we're going to do some zoning on the top of that street, so let's push this a bit further out. Same with over there. Awesome. And then when we zone this now, so I can even show you the transformation. And because it's a, a little closed-off planned neighborhood, I'm going to zone around the uh, roundabout, which I know is a little crazy. Right, so we get the buildings that come in, everything per normal. But then when we specialize the district... Oh, awesome, Tiny Town. <clears throat> Alright, so here we go. Just move the pipes up here. So now when we go back into our district specialization, click over in our residential... Click on this, self-sufficient buildings. You'll see these buildings disappear, and then the new ones will come in, and this will be awesome to see. So they're using like the new assets, they have a nice sleek modern look. 
a lot of like solar panels. It's really cool. Very modern looking houses. Really nice, right? So let's do the same thing with one of the commercial zones so you guys can see that difference as well. Maybe we can have a little commercial shop district right here next to it. And these will be all the ones, you know, from like the trailer and stuff. So we'll unzone that, turn this into our shopping block. And then to get the clean districts, uh, they actually snap really nicely to the, um, uh, the nodes in the road. And so from the overhead, you just end up with these really cool, clean, overlapping districts here. And guys, uh, I'm, I've been known to um, name some districts after people from the YouTube comments section, so make yourself known to me. Be on my radar. You never know. You might have a district after you. Uh, okay, so same idea. Let's uh, specialize this. A little bit steep, so hopefully the buildings don't look too bonkers here. And we did unlock some more services and whatnot with that last milestone. Oops, this is going to be a, um, be a bridge here, or a tunnel. There we go. Okay, so let's just double check the services that we unlocked with that last milestone, because I'm sure we have to play some of those before people start yelling at us. Awesome, some park stuff, that's really cool. Most of the park stuff, actually. I think service-wise, it's just the like the high school. And we actually unlocked a new building, which is the sports hall and gymnasium. That's under the health tab. Let's take a look at that. Oh, unfortunately, we cannot afford it. 120,000. Oh my goodness gracious me. I forgot how much that was. Uh, so this is really cool. So it just offers your citizens exercise. So it gives them a health benefit, right? So And also, it's really cool because you can pair these with like you know schools and stuff and parks. And it just looks really just like a fresh set of new assets for the buildings in, in the area. All right, well, let's take a look over here. Let's start jazzing up with some of our new trees as well. These are cool, right? These like nice redwoods. Only because this is a kind of a closed off neighborhood. Otherwise, I really wouldn't be doing this many tall trees in the center of a roundabout. Nor would I really be zoning there, but... We'll just drop some of these down, just beautify this whole region. And we've got the two different um, random sizes of them. I think the one on the left is supposed to technically be the smaller. And the one on the right is, should be just bigger overall, with some exceptions to that. And I mean, honestly, I think like for trees and stuff, like the the more the better. But this is one of those things like you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So you might think I'm a little bit of a madman with all the trees and everything I'm placing. And just because we're on the you know edge of a mountain and stuff, right? There should be a whole bunch of rocks and that kind of stuff, leftovers from the ice age, right? All the granite and everything that kind of rolled around with the uh, icebergs, right? How these mountain shells would have been made, too, right? Tectonic plates, that's how this all works. Alright. And then, like, once this is all done, we can kind of see what the other neighborhood will look like, kind of in contrast. Let's expand. Nice. I want just a little bit more of that green kind of vibe, just going up to this back part here, so we can really see the contrast. Oh, that's awesome! Nice, nice network, too. I like this so far. So we'll just sneak on the outside of that. And we'll just remember that we need to be a bit on the outside of this. Oh, that's fantastic. And I think over here, this is where we can place the um, other elementary school. And let's take a look at what the, the high school looks like. Let's make that one go right there. And can we not afford that yet? Of course. Darn it. How are the loans doing? So another trick you can do is you can pay back your loan early and then take it back. So there's enough money now for us to drop this. So this is just an alternative to the, uh, to the high school but it looks really nifty. Now, I would like to place this somewhere flat so that we can maybe have like a um, like a park and some stuff behind it just to kind of make it feel like a little mini campus. That's a great corner for it, I think. That's a really cool building, right? Some of the green space here, integrated with the walkway, really like that, just for the back entrance here. 
I would, I would totally go to school here. It's really nice. Very fun. I would have expected maybe a bit more solar panels, though. Not to be too critical, but yeah, it's really cool, right? I like this a lot. Alright, so let's do a little bit more detailing here, and then I think we'll, uh, I think we'll call it an episode. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts so far. Like, I really, I'm happy the way this is turning out. And, uh, no disasters so far. Like, minimal, minimal problems. Knock on wood, of course. Uh, speaking of which, I do have the Natural Disasters DLC installed. I don't have the disasters turned on. Maybe for fun later on when the city's built, we can have like a little mini episode of us blowing some stuff up, but... I think for the most part, we're just going to be kind of exploring, see what's new, have some fun integrating some of the other DLC into the city. But so far, so good. And I'm actually really enjoying this, like, kind of Seattle kind of vibe here, the city within the hill. With the, uh, you know, the bay and everything close by, so nice. In Seattle, San Francisco, Vancouver fields are alive here. Alright, well, probably between episodes as well, just maybe accumulate the budget. I'm probably going to do a bit more of this kind of beautification stuff. But I think that's kind of what I'm after. And you know what we can do? Maybe let's place down a few of these, just so we can kind of see them. My thought with these trees is because they're so just bright and colorful, they might seem a little bit out of place from like a natural setting. It seems like something that more maybe you'd find like around City Hall, or like a university campus, or like in someone's like backyard, you know, private garden or whatever. I really wouldn't necessarily find handfuls of these kind of floating around. But they're so nice though. So let's take a look at them really quickly up close here. So just really great fun ideas. Here are the new trees. And that should be it. Awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to try and use these, like I was saying, in and around just like public squares and stuff, school campuses to have that nice nice fun pleasant fresh feel all right guys well i think we'll uh i think we'll wrap things up here it's pretty awesome so far right very happy with our city all right well thanks for hanging out guys i've really enjoyed it like do hit the like button that does help more than you think and uh yeah get on my radar drop me a comment let me know what you're thinking and i'll see you guys over in episode two thanks for uh, having having a yeah having a blast with me i'll see you guys later happy building all the best